Hey everyone, Itachi T here back again to teach you some more about Axie Infinity. For this video, we're gonna talk about the Axie cards. We're gonna go through all the 132 cards in Axie Infinity. So let's get right to it. So as you can see, I divided them based on the categories. So the first category is energy. So these cards have something to do with energy. So let's start with Nemo. As you can see here, the one on the top side is the part name. And if you will look at the cards, it also has the specific card name. But uh, I recommend that being familiar with both and it's better to really be familiar with the part name. So let's start with Nemo. So as usual as well, the blue cards are aquas, beast cards are orange, purple ones are reptiles, bug cards are red, bird cards are pink, plant cards are green, but there are just some exceptions like Iguana. Iguana here on the lower right is actually a reptile card but it's color blue. But we'll talk about that later. So let's start with Nemo. So Nemo, it gained one energy when comboed with another card. So when we, we mean combo, so that actually has to use two or more cards. So Imp, gain one energy for critical strike dealt by your team this round. So any of your team member, if you use Imp that round, any of your team member who crits, or Axie that crits, it will gain you one energy. Then we have here Goda, destroy one of your opponent's energy. But if the opponent doesn't have any energy, then you won't destroy anything. <laughs> then we have here Cotton Tail or Luna Absorb, it gained one energy. Basically, if you use it and you're not stunned, you just gained one energy. Then Rice, you steal one energy from your opponent when comboed with another card. So again, you have to use another card for it to work. So if the opponent doesn't have any energy, then you won't steal anything. Kotaro or Kotaro Bite. So gain one energy if target is faster than this Axie. So this is great for reptiles because aquas and birds are faster than reptiles. Then Antina. So bug signal. So steal energy from your opponent when chained with another bug signal card. So take note of the word chain. So for it to work, you have all the other team members should have the bug signal or the antenna as a card. So a single Axie should use Antina or the bug signal and another Axie should use the bug signal for it to work. Then we have here Lip Bug or this guys. Gain one energy when comboed with a plant card. So again, this is very specific. So that Axie should use Lip Bug and another plant card for it to work to gain one energy. Next, we have Watering Can. So gain one energy if this Axie is trapped by an aquatic card. So if an Axie use a beast card, it won't work. It has to be an aquatic card. So those are usual blue ones like Nemo. This is a counter for Aquas. Then we got here the Sirius or Vegetal Bite. Steal one energy from your opponent when comboed with another card. So it pretty much worked just like Rice. So you have to combo it with any other card and it will work. If the opponent doesn't have energy, you won't steal anything. Then here we have Carrot. Carrot Hammer, gain one energy if this Axis Shield breaks. So you can stack this Carrot. So if you use two Carrot, carrot that round then and your energy, sorry, your shield got destroyed, then you will gain two energy. Next is Iguana. So take note of the name here. So the part name is Iguana, but the card name is also Scale Dark. So Iguana generate one energy when attacking a buff target. So the buffs are Speed Up, Moral Up, or Attack Up. So it's very specific again. So the opponent or the Axie should have a buff for you to gain one energy when you attack him using Iguana. Next is the targeting priority section. So Perch. Prioritize idle target when comboed with at least two additional cards. So specific, it's just that one card you have to combo two other cards. So minimum three cards for it to work. Then Tirana. So target injured enemy if the Axis HP is below 50%. Then Chitin Jump or Shrimp. So you must have a Shrimp Predator because it has the card Shrimp. So Shrimp, prioritize further target. Then we got Toothless Bite, target the furthest enemy. So basically, Shrimp and Toothless Bite work the same way, but the description is ju has just been rewarded. But Shrimp and Toothless Bite, yeah, they work the same way. Then we got here, Tri-Spike or Spike Throw. 
Target enemy with lowest shield when comboed with two or more cards. So again, you have to throw three cards for Tri Spike to work. Then we got here Kingfisher. Target an aquatic class enemy if this access HP is below 50%. So this is a bird card. Again, uh, it will target a specific class if your access HP is below 50%. We got your Wing Horn or Smart Shot. So skip the closest target if there are two or more enemies remaining. So if your enemy has three axes left, it will target the middle axis because it will skip the front one. Then we got here, Potato Leaf or Aqua Deflect. Basically, uh, if your opponent uses the Aqua card first, it will be deflected to your remaining Axe teammates or the one behind you. Turnip. So this is a specific card. It targets a bird if comboed with two or more cards. So again, you have to throw at least three cards for it to work. Next, we have here, Watermelon and Little Owl. So they also work the same way. It's just that Watermelon is a plant card and it's a horn card. Um, Little Owl, Dark Swoop is a bird card and it's a mouth card. So they both target the fastest enemy. Then Hungry Bird, another specific class targeting, target bug class enemy if the access HP is below 50%. Then we have here Cloud. This is actually Cloud and the card name is Poppy Smack. So the part name is Cloud. It skips target that are in last stand. So if the front enemy is in last stand, it will attack the other axes that are not in last stand. Then we got here Jervil or Jervil Jump. It works like Swing Horn. Skip the closest target if there are two or more enemies remaining. Now, take note uh, some of the cards here. I mean, so, some of the cards overall might appear twice because uh, they fall on multiple categories. So some cards here will really be repeated. So combo cards, so these are the cards that you have to combo or you have to use other cards in your Axie for it to work. So Tiny Turtle or Chump, so you have to use two other cards to apply Stan to enemy. Then we got here Green Thorns, so double shield from this card when comboed with a plant card. So Green Thorn works well with another plant card. Then we got here Twin Tail. Attack twice when comboed with another card, so it can be any other card, so as long as it is a combo. Leap Bug, so gain one energy when comboed with a plant card. Nutcrackers, the Nutcrackers, so you can see uh, they are both Nutcrackers, the part name, but the one is a uh, horn card, the other one is a tail card. So Nutcrack, deal 120% damage when comboed with another Nutcracker card, the same with Nut Throw. Then we got here Little Branch or Branch Charge. Increase crit chance by 20% if chained or comboed with a plant card. So it can be a chain, meaning there's another axe using a plant card, or it can be a combo. That same axe will use a plant card, then you will increase your crit chance here. Then we got here Sirius again and Rice. It can steal one energy from your opponent when you combo it with any other card. Then we got here Square Teeth or Might Bite. Add 100% for damage when comboed with another card. We got here the Ronin or Single Combat. It guaranteed Critical Strike when comboed with at least two other cards. Then we have here Koi. Apply Speed Up when you use another Aquatic Class card. So take note, it's specific. Koi will only work if you combo it with another Aqua card. Then again, Nemo. Gain one energy as long as you combo it with another card. Then we got here the Chain cards, meaning it has to be played in the chain. So the chain can be specific or it can just be a class chain. So let's start with Mary or Mary Legion. So add 20% shield to this Axie when played in chain. So meaning, if you use Mary Legion on a single Axie and other Axies use other beast cards, then that is a chain. So Mary Legion, you will gain 20% more shield. Then Bamboo Shoot, increase 20% damage when chained with another plant card. So again, it's specific here. So if you use a plant card from other Axie and this Axie use Bamboo Shoot, then you will gain 20% damage. Then we got here the Lunges. So Scaly Spear and Feather Spear deal 120% damage when chained with another Lunge card. And the same with a Feather Lunge. So these are the Horn Lunge cards. So as long as you chain them with another Lunge card, uh, you will have 120% more damage. Then again, Little Branch. From the comboed card, it can also be a chain card. Garish Worm, so apply poison to target when played in the chain. So the chain here is you can just use any other bug card. Here, Antina or Bug Signal, as I mentioned earlier, you have to chain it with another Bug Signal card. So 
one axis using bug signal, another axis using another bug signal for it to work. Next is Cute Bunny. So apply fear to target for two turns when played in a chain. So this is just a normal chain. Other axis should use a bug card. Then this axis can use Cute Bunny and the fear will apply because it is applied in a chain. So just to recap, chain cards meaning this axis has to use this card and other axis has to use this card as well. Okay? Now, here are all the defensive cards. So let's start with Hermit or Shelter, an Aqua card. So it disables critical strikes on this axis during this round. And it also has 115 defense. So as you can see here, the one below the attack here is the defense, which is 115. Next is Sponge or Shipwreck, which is very useful for Aquas. It apply attack plus to this axis if its shield breaks. And it's also a defense card because it has a lot of defense, which is 90. Next, we have Bumpy or Overgrow Keratin. So basically, it recover 20 shield per turn. This is very useful when you are tanking and you have other faster axes. Then it will just and just recover shield. Then we got here, Snake Jar or Jar Barrage. So attacks that break this axis shield cannot do additional damage. Can only trigger once per round. So you can only use a single Snake Jar per round because uh, it only trigger once. So basically, you have 20 defense, but if your, let's say, your opponent's attack is 100, then it will only deal 20 damage because uh, it, it cannot deal additional damage based on that shield. Next, we have Wall Gecko or Critical Escape. It reduces damage taken by 15% this round. So take note, it only has a 30 defense, but again, it's a defense card because it reduces percentage damage. Next is Indian Star. So it's not updated here, but the real defense here is 80. So it's a defensive card because it reflects 40% of melee damage back at attacker. Next, we got Red Ear or Slippery Shield. So add 15% of this Axis Shield to adjacent teammates. And it has a defense of 135. Pretty tanky, right? <laughs> Next is Steel Shield or Deep Sea Gore. So add 30% to this Axis Shield when attacking. We got here Mint and Biden. So they are defense cards because for a Zero Cost card, it has a lot of defense and they remove the buffs. So here's the difference. Mint or Refresh. It removes all debuffs from a teammate if it's directly in front and it has to be on the same row. So they cannot be ad uh, adjacent like this. So they have to be directly in front of him. So it will remove the debuff of his teammate that is directly in front of him. Next is Bidens. So it removes all debuffs from this axis. So the difference would mean it uh, removes the debuffs for its front teammate. Bidens, it removes debuff for yourself. <laughs> Next is Pumpkin. So take note, this is again not updated here. So it has it only has 110 defense, but Pumpkin is a plant card, which is really good. So it draw a card if this Axis Shield doesn't break this round. If it breaks, then it's just a usual defense card. Next, <laughs> Snail Shell or Sticky Goose. So you will see this a lot on Thermis. So basically, it only has a 60 shield, but it stuns the attacker if this Axis Shield breaks and can only trigger once per round. So it's good to just use a single snail shell at a time. Next, we have Feather Pan or Sander Armor. Add 20% shield to this axi for each debuff it possesses. Next is Timber. It has 100 defense. So add shield equal to the damage this card deals to plant cards. So it's it can work with a plant because um, you deal damage to a plant, then it will be added to your shield. But yeah, it works if your enemy has a lot of plant cards. Then here, we have the buff cards. So take note in Axe Infinity, we only have three buffs. Attack plus, speed plus, and morale up or morale plus. So these are the only cards that will uh, offer you this buff card. So again, there's a typo here. So this is not very. Let's edit that. So again, Sponge or Shipwreck, it apply attack plus if that Axis Shield breaks. Then we have here Clamshell. So it apply attack up to this Axis when attacking Beast, Bug, or Mech targets. So specific to that class. Then again, we have Risky Fish. Apply attack plus to this Axis when attacking Plant, Reptile, or Dust targets. Then we have here Cuckoo or the Kaka Doodle Doo. It apply attack plus to this Axis. So basically, just use that Kaka Doodle Doo and you will have an attack up. Next are the speed plus cards. So take note, there are only three. So we have here Koi. It will work if you combo it with another um, Aqua card. Then we have here Goldfish. 
So apply speed plus to this axi for two rounds when attacked. So yeah, if someone attacks that axi and it uses goldfish, it will have speed up. Then again, we got here Arco. You just have to use Arco. Apply speed plus to this axi for two rounds. The description is also not updated, but uh, it doesn't have to be attacked. So for Arco, you just need to apply speed plus as long as you use it. Now for Moral Up or Moral Plus, we have only two cards, Confident and Shiva. So for Confident, it applied two Moral Up to this Axie for two rounds, then Shiva. Apply Moral Up to your team for two rounds if this Axie attacks while in last turn. Next, we have the draw card. So Bone Tills is actually also a defensive card because it has 80 defense. So this is not updated here, but uh, cause, um, all these cards here are gathered based on Axie World. And because of balanced patches, they are being updated from time to time. And the Axie list in Axie World is not that updated. But most likely the description are all the same. So the hero card, it's, it draw a card when attacking an aquatic, bird, or dawn target. Next is Bone Sail, it draw a card if this Axie Shield breaks. Next is Blue Moon. What can you observe here? Blue Moon and Iguana has the same card name, but they have different part theme. So Iguana is a reptile card that is called Scale Dart as well. And Blue Moon is an aqua card. And look at the description here. Blue Moon, also called a Scale Dart, it draw a card if target is in last stand. And we got it here, our Hare. So Hair Dagger. Draw a card if this Axie attacks at the beginning of the round. Then Cat Tail, draw a card if, if struck by a Beast, Bug, or Mech card. Next is Pumpkin, it draw a card again if this Axie Shield doesn't break this round. So this time this is updated. <laughs> so Pumpkin has 110 defense. Then here, we have the debuff. So we group the debuff based on what are their debuffs. So we got here debuff attack down. So we got here Rescue Feather. Peacemaker, Gila, and Boss Boss. So take note, Risky Feather or the last one, it actually has 150 damage. So it apply to attack minus to this Axie. If you use Risky Feather, you will have two attack minus coming for your next attack. Peacemaker, it apply attack minus on the target. So if you use Peacemaker on your opponent Axie, that Axie will receive an attack minus as a diva. We got here Gila next, it apply attack minus to poison targets. Okay, next we have Buzz Buzz. It apply attack minus to target. So it just works the same as Peacemaker. It's just they are different cards. The other one, Peacemaker is a bird card. Buzz Buzz is a bug card. But they both deal um, attack minus to target. Next, Devop Speed Down. So first we have Lagging. It's a zero cost card. You can see this on Thermis. So apply speed minus to target for two rounds. Then we got here Croc and Incisor. So they are all apply speed minus to target. They just have different um, attack, energy cost card, and the attack and defense for each card. But basically, they all work the same way. So Croc is a buck card. Incisor or this arm is a horn card. Lagging or Mystic Crush is also a horn card. Then Divap Moral Dam, we only have one, which is Cupid, a bird card. It apply moral minus to enemy for two rounds. Then we got the Divap Chill. So Grand Mass Fun and Ranchu. So chill means uh, that Axie cannot enter last stand. So these two cards here apply chill to target for two rounds. Then we got here Divap of Jinx. So this two card here apply Jinx to enemy. When the enemy has Jinx, it cannot deal critical damage. So Tadpole and Raven, they apply Jinx to target for two rounds. Then we got here Divap of Stun. So they all work with their specific component. So Tiny Turtle or Chomp, as mentioned earlier, it has to be comboed with other two cards for it to work. Then Fish Snack, so apply stun when struck by aquatic or bird class cards. Take note, they have to be cards, so it doesn't have to be a class. So a Fish Snack, so if a bird use, let's say, a beast card to you, and you use Fish Snack, then it won't be applied. So Fish Snack, if a bird use a bird card, or a, an aqua use an aqua card, or a reptile use an aqua card, then they will be stunned when you attack an Axie using a Fish Snack. Then Snail Shell, again, it stuns the attacker if this Axie Shield breaks. Here, the debuff of Fear. So when an opponent is feared, they will miss one or two turns. So we got here Cute Bunny, apply Fear to target for two turns. Then Caterpillars, apply Fear to shielded targets. It's just a one tick one. Then again, Balloon. So take note of Balloon. Apply Fear to target for one turn. 
Then if depending, apply for yourself until next round. So if you are faster, you will apply here on your opponent. But if you are slower, your opponent actually will apply here to you. Then fragile. So we got here spiky wings. So fragile means double the damage on shield. So we only have this card for that. Spiky wing apply fragile to target until next round. Then lethal. So lethal means the next attack on that axe will be a sure critical. So apply lethal to target if this axe's HP is below 30%. Then debuff slip. So shooting song or double talk. So apply slip to target. Basically, it will just pass through the defense and the next coming attack will also pass through that defense. So yeah, this is Axikis. This is Double Talk. Then we got here the Poison cards. So first is Yam, a plant card. It applies poison each time this card is used to attack or defend. So basically, if your plant just Yam and your opponent attacks you, for each attack, they will have a stack of poison and you will also deal poison to your front. Then we got here Garish Worm. So apply poison if it's played in chain. Then we got here the Grass Snake. It just simply apply poison to target. You just use it, then it will apply poison to a target. This is two poison ticks. Garish Worm and Grass Snake uh, apply two poison ticks. Then Stench. What Stench? If you Stench on an enemy, it will lose its target priority, so the next coming Axie will attack the next one. So Unko and Ant, they both apply Stench to target until the end of round. These are all the heal cards. We got Anemone, which is, um, take note there are two Anemone. The first one is like Tail 1, the second one is a Horn card. So successful attack restore 50 HP for each Anemone part this Axie possesses. So if that Axie only has one Anemone card, then it will just heal 50 for each attack. If, but if that Axie has two Anemone cards, it will heal 100 HP for each attack. Then we got here Catfish and Mosquito. Heal this Axie by the damage infli inflicted with this card. So they work the same. Again, they, they are just a different card. One is Aquatic, the other is Bug. So yeah, heal this Axie by damage inflicted. Then we got here Razor Bite, a specific counter. Card name is Why So Serious. The part name again is Razor Bite. So heal this Axie by damage inflicted with this card to Aquatic Target. So it's very specific. It's a specific counter, Razor Bite. Then here we got Rosebud and Shitake. So Shitake is a back card. Rosebud is a horn card. So they both heal the Axie for 120 HP. If you use them, you have a defense of 40 and you will heal your own Axie. Then we got here Drain Bite and Herbivore. So this is not Drain Bite here. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's actually called Zigzag. So the part name here is called Zigzag. And the card name is called Drain Bite. For Zigzag, heal this damage by the damage this card inflicts. So it's like Catfish and Mosquito. Then Herbivore, this is a specific one. Heal this Axie by the damage this card inflicts on a plant target. So it's, it's specific to a plant target. Then we got here Silence Whisper. Heal front teammate for 190 HP. Then uh, we miss a single card here which, which is called Strawberry Shortcake. Strawberry Shortcake for 2 energy, heal your front Axie by 270 HP or yourself. Next is Additional Damage. So these are cards that can deal additional damage. So we got here Navaga. It deals 120% damage if this Axie attacks first. We got here Lamb. Deal 120% damage if this Axie's HP is below 50%. We got here Babylonia. Deal 130% damage when attacking an idle target. We got here Dual Blade. It can deal 250% damage when you land a critical strike. We got here Pocky. It deals 10% additional damage for each allied bug Axie. We got here Risky Beast. It deals 150% damage if this Axie is in last stand. We got here Swallow. Deal 120% damage if this Axie attacks first. We got here Sandal. Deal 50% more damage when attacking bug targets. We got here Thorny Caterpillar. Deal 130% damage to debuff targets. So the debuff I mentioned earlier, all those debuff cards here, if they have debuff and you use Thorny Caterpillar, then you will deal 130% damage. We got here Pliers. Deal 30% more damage to shielded targets. So if that Axie has a shield and you use Pliers, you will deal more damage. You pay. 
It deals 200% damage when attacking in last stand and access last stand ends after it attacks. So it initially has a 60 damage but if that axe is in last stand, then you will deal additional 100% damage so it will be 120 damage. We got her cactus, deal 120% damage if this axe attack last. We got her Nabaga Swallow, dealing additional damage when Axie attack first. Then we got her Cactus, dealing additional damage when your Axie attack last. Next, we have Beach or Wooden Stab. It deals 120% damage if this Axie shield breaks. We got her Tiny Dino, deal 150% damage after round 4. Then, Serastes. So this is effective against uh, Aqua and Birth because... um. It deals 130% damage if target is faster than this Axie. So we got here the disable one. So this is not a discard. So this is these are just the disable cards. So we got here Scarab. So target cannot be healed until next round. You will negate basically all the healing cards if you use Scarab. Gravel at it disable target melee cards next round. So this is the counter for this is a hard counter for Terminator builds. So it disable targets melee cards next round. Castrel, it disable targets horn cards next round. So as you can see, Castrel is like a feather. Then we got here Hatsune. It, when hit, disable attacker's range cards next round. So this is a really good one to counter the bird or poison comes. Next we got here Hot Pot. It disable targets mouth card next round. Then finally, here are our discard cards. So discard meaning removing cards from your opponent. So Pinsir and Parasite. So Pinsir is a zero cost one. Parasite has a one energy cost. It just have they just have different damage and defense. They are also not updated here. Pinsir actually just deals 20 attack and zero depth. But there we go. Pinsir randomly discard one card from your enemy's hands. The same with Parasite. It randomly discard one card from your enemy's hands. So they work the same way. It's just that Pinsir is a zero cost card. Parasite, it has a 1 cost for energy. Next will be the last stand cards. So these are cards that has something to do with last stand. So Shiva, apply moral up to your team for 2 rounds if this Axie attacks while in last stand. Jaguar, always strike first if this Axie is in last stand. Meaning if you are in last stand and you, if you use Jaguar first, automatically you will attack first. Then Cloud, skip targets that are in last stand. Few pay. Deal 200% damage when attacking in last stand, and that last stand will end. Risky Beast, so deal 150% damage if this axe is in last stand. Show Star, so if you use this as your last card, target cannot enter last stand. So if this is your killing blow, again, Show Star, your enemy won't enter last stand. Next is Oranda, and target's last stand. Then we got here Blue Moon, or Scale Dart. Take note, Blue Moon is the aquatic card, so draw a card if target is in last stand. So take note of Blue Moon versus Iguana. They are different parts, but they just have the same card name. Then we got here the Strike N times, meaning it will strike more than once. So we got here the Tri Feather, so attack twice if this Axie has any debuff. So don't be confused, okay? Tri Feather means, I mean, it's try, but uh, it just attacks twice if this Axie has any debuffs. Then we got here Fervol. It's strike three times. We got here Twin Tail. Attack twice when comboed with another card. So a Fervol is just like a fur in the back part of the Axie. Then there we go. Thank you for listening. Those are all the attack cards. So let me know how I can improve my videos in the future ones. But thank you for listening. I hope you learn a lot from watching this video. So until next time, see you guys. Take it easy.